सो हे गाइज वॉज अपन पे स्टडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटेड वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ वी कैन ईजिली क्रिएट एंड हाउ वी कैन ईजिली अचीव दिस ग्रोइंग इफेक्ट एंड दिस लुक सो कूल मैन दिस लुक सो कूल सो रिसेंटली आई फाउंड अ वीडियो ऑन इंटरनेट दिस वॉज रियली रियली गुड एंड लुक्स अमेजिंग सो आई ट्राई टू अचीव दैट इफेक्ट over here and i will show you how and by the way this is a 3d animation right now and if you will follow my previous videos where i explain how you can easily shoot a video do 3d tracking and create the effect and then you can simply render this 3d elements and composite onto your real world footage with that method you can also achieve this effect in real life like you can composite this whole animation in real life i will also show you the final output in the last i would like to introduce one of my amazing course modern visual effect so if you are interested to learn visual effect and you are new to this field and you want to learn also blender by creating this visual effects i will highly recommend to check modern visual effect it has total seven different chapters five different effect and two chapters are dedicated for the basics just like the first chapter is for the basics second chapter is all about the tracking and rest five is dedicated to different visual effect like green screen how you can do and composite 3d object into real world and also recently i included the iphone visual effect which has 37 millions of views on instagram and i share all the step by step tutorial into my new course so yeah you can go there and check it so without any more delay let's get started this video you can create a plane and on the plane what i did i apply a displace modifier so with a displace i also created a texture here you can see uh, for the ground what i did i just downloaded a blender kit add on just select this material section and enable this so now you can see all this material and if you like any just let's suppose if i like this one i can simply drag and drop to this uh, you know ground and it will take a moment to download and it will update and you can see this is how it will look this is the way how i created the ground for creating the car what i did and just go to the object and here just search car and make sure to make the eye view on so you can see all the cars and here is all the cars so you can go to the filter and make it free list free first actually and it will show you all the free available cars which you can use once you have the car ground and the environment set up you can simply start adding the growing animation and there are a couple of ways to add the grow animation first way is to use the inbuilt particle system of blender so the second step is geometry node and it has a tons of features available which you can use it and there are a much more control available in geometry node but for creating this simple uh, growing animation the way i found is to use a batonic it has the nature assets available inside this add on and there are a lots of nature assets just like here you can see there are a bunch of tree it has a lots of tree available and there are bunch of grass models and also the flowers and you can see the many modes which you can go and explore if you want to give it a try you can go there and download it and use it and also has a light and full version which you can you know definitely check it according to your need i will put the download link in my video description the way i will use it just like i want to grow it from start to end and for that i have to create the mask so just like the previous video where i explained the my full visual effect workflow which you can go there and check it first we will create the basically a wet paint a custom mask which will grow over the time go here and create a sphere sphere will be basically the thing which will let me grow the animation from here to from into first or from here to there okay so i'll first make this over here and let me move this into a new collection called mask apply the scale first go to the first frame press i and add a location and go to 100 frames press g y and just move it all the way till over here and press i and add a location a t and make it linear so we have a linear motion going on and if you think the overall motion is very fast you can just increase this so we have a bit slower movement okay so just like here you can see i have also animated the camera and this looks good i already separated so i will go over here to the 
physics section and here i will use a dynamic paint and choose add canvas and here surface type i will choose the wet paint and nothing else just go over here and choose dynamic paint and here i will change the brush add brush and just change the paint type from mesh volume to proximity and i will select this car chassis again where i will apply the dynamic paint and if i'll go down here is a vertex group in the output section i will click plus and now let's go to the wet paint so basically this is our canvas and this is brush and if i'll play you can see this is how our wet paint is affecting and this looks really good to me you can see how this gradient is behaving and based on that our particles will also start small and in the end it will look big overall i like this one before in doing anything i will just simply bake the whole animation so i will select this and just bake it so i will bake this and for checking this i have to go to the wet point and yeah it's working so boom it's looking good i will select this sphere and i'll go to the object section and just make it to the bound and now I will select this one and click on this plus icon and in the flower section I will choose this one and hit ok. So now you can see we have a couple of issues first the flower size is too big and the second we have a different texture going on into the car. So for fixing the car texture I will go to the material section and here I will just remove this and click on this drop down and choose the car paint which you have previously and our texture is back. For fixing the scale what I will do, I will select one by one maybe. Just select first this one. And just down the scale. And also you can see the orientation is not good. So for fixing the orientation, I will go to the rotation and change this to the normal direction. And just increase the number like this. And just make the scale even more. Scale random is high. Okay. And same, I will just enable this one. Just make the scale down a bit in numbers this will be higher number like 10,000 like this okay maybe just increase the grass a bit not go to the flower section again and just increase the height so our flower will be a bit bigger than our grass okay select the grass again and increase the randomness select this first flower and just down the scale increase the randomness and make the count higher maybe like this much select this one and here let me make it four so now our scene will become heavy because we have too many particles going on and right now i'm using ev so i'm going to switch back to the solid mode so we can see we have a lots of particles going on so if i'll play you can see nothing is happening okay so if you remember we set up our dynamic paint and we created a mask so now it's time to use that mask over here so it will affect the whole animation so if you'll select all the particles one by one so i will select the first one let me hide the other so i can focus on that and here you can see i just forget to change the ro rotation so i'll change this to the normal so now it looks good so here i also the randomness which i can you know play so I will go down and there is two options called density and length. So I will use the length. So here I'll go to the length and choose our DP weight. And uh, let me play and you can see this is how it's growing and looking beautiful. And this is the trick of the whole video. Next is add this. And now I'm, I just am I'm, I'm adding to all the, you can see, this is how beautiful it is looking amazing. Let's go to the camera view and you can see. This is how you can easily and quickly create this growing animation. And here I'm going to switch back to cycles. And if I just click here, I will, I'm going to also select the sphere and disable it from everywhere. And you can see. So I hope you really enjoy the whole video and I hope now you know how you can create this this type of growing animations this looks really good and you can definitely play according to your uh, play a different different kind of a camera angle and you can create a uh, 3d animation you can also use this whole animation into a real world footage using my previous vfx workflow techniques and guys if you are if you want to learn more deeply the visual effect you can de definitely go and check out my modern visual effect course it has amazing amazing things so yeah 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर लविंग मी आई एम एन बी एस थ्री डी एंड आई विल बी बैक सोन विथ एन अमेजिंग ट्यूटोरियल अंटिल देन कीप वर्किंग कीप स्माइलिंग एंड बाय टेक केयर